coach for you. Um, how ready is the team ahead of tomorrow's encounter? It's a walk-up qualifier. Nigeria failed to qualify the last time. How prepared is the team for tomorrow's encounter? Kenneth, um, of course, you know, we didn't make it to the last World Cup. What's the feeling in camp amongst the players? How serious are you guys taking this match tomorrow and the rest of the matches to qualify? Good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming. I think more than 60 people. I, I check. Um, okay, you haven't enough time or too much time for prepare the team, you know. Some play, five players arrive Monday, uh, Tuesday arrive more 18 players. You need to manage the, the, the training for rest, for they rest well, because you play tomorrow. Okay, only today you can do the normal training, but without intensity because you're training tomorrow. I would like to play no in 16, but 17 and 21, but the calf put this schedule you need to accept. Okay, you didn't training too much this, uh, this camping until now, but you're training before. I accumulate the work since the first day I come here. I arrive. Uh, I accumulate when you play friendly match, when you play official match, you try to introduce our ideas, our dynamics, our organization, and try to repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat the same players. For that, I don't, I don't change all the players like you like every time. Uh, even you did the, in the last, you did the last camping in Portugal, and you take advantage of that you did two go two match, uh, eight sessions, eight practice, and uh, even you could uh, use use the play, all the players in the in the match. Uh, you know they put only eleven in the first match, the eleven in the second match. For that I'm, I think I'm ready. Okay, we'd like. To, to train more on the O2, but you are right there because you're training before. I know the players only come a new player, Nata, because sometimes I can check some player in our highs show something well. The others, they come with habit, they know our, our organization, they know our leadership, they know our, our organization. I think you go to do a good match. Okay, um, good evening, guys. For me also, you know, I know we didn't uh, qualify for the last World Cup and I know how hot we felt, you know, as players and also as Nigerians, you know, but um, this time we'll have uh, an opportunity to, to rewrite that. And we've been working hard even, you know, right from preparing for the Nations Cup qualification. We've been training together and trying to understand ourselves and our coach uh, tactics uh, better and I think uh, despite not having enough time to train like the coach said I think uh, we have the quality and and we're ready you know to to get that ticket okay okay uh, my name is China actually was very FM again for the coach and the player and uh, Kenneth one of the goalkeepers uh, Francis so he has faced a lot of criticism from the media and from the fans I want to ask you, what kind of support is he getting from you as coach for his back in the team? And for Kenneth, I don't know if you're young for Pigeon English. How do you take support him as you know, the whole fans and media they criticize him? Okay. Uh, normal. I evaluate my players, all of them, normally the goalkeepers. And I have uh, on list with 50 players, I think, at the same level. For each camping, for each match, or too much like now, I choose the best in that moment, in my opinion. Okay. Um, okay, about about goalkeeper, I think I answered three or four times until now with the, uh, that question. Um, okay, I understand the fans, I understand the media, I understand everybody. But my decision comes from thy head, not the other heads. I need to follow my confidence, my job. For that, I am, I have the, 
da, da curso, I level in the UEFA Cup, in the UEFA uh, school, in the university. Of course, someone can see better than me, of course. But is my opinion, is my solution. I keep the confidence in our goalkeepers. Of course, in this moment, Adelaide could not come because he didn't play now in Israel. Maduka could not come because the problem, the passport. But come Uzo. Uzo was our, goal, our goalkeeper in the classification. In the classification was our goalkeeper. Um, only did play on match. Adele, Adele, uh, was Adele playing the Serie Um Come Ojo, come Amas. I believe in our goalkeepers. I believe in Uzo also. Only that. But I accept you take other opinion, the media, other people. I know it's too much pressure over the goalkeeper here. I know you don't understand well the mistake that our goalkeepers understand more the mistake our strikers lose many chances sometimes, but it's not in football. It's not in football. The strikers lose chance and midfield lose pass. Or sometimes the goalkeeper do some mistake. Everybody knows he did a mistake against Saudi Arabia. He knows. I know. I spoke with him. He spoke with me. He tried to improve him. The mentality, the capacity. When I see one goalkeeper better than Uzo for start the match, I bring him. I am not stupid. I want to play with the best <laughs> players, I think. Or not. I don't want to lose. I want to win. But he has my confidence. Okay. So you want to <coughs> no, no, I think you must have opinion in the <laughs> So for me, um touched on almost that everything about um Uzo, which Nahim get the you know the decision to to make the team. And we as players will they behind them because now the best goalkeeper we will get out there now. For me, um, plenty of people feel disagree because of maybe make one or two mistakes. But more not forget the best games we done also keep for us. You know, I see posts when they go post and sometimes we media self know the health issue because when I go post them, then they ask people, say, what team do you in our opinion? Because one, I remember when Maduka come, you know, before him come, media they push out ah, this goalkeeper, maybe we'll bring them more, bring them more, bring them. We'll bring her. He make one mistake. Will not be actually that bad mistake. But the way we then kill him, even reach a relationship and everything, he they discourage, you know. And we need, we need Nigerians to stay behind, especially our goalkeepers, because he you know easy to keep for Nigeria. I no go lie. I know be goalkeeper or I be player, but I know the kind of pressure we we do. And I also like the way when he done take him because he get mine. If not, he go down wrong. <laughs> you know, so like coach talk with it behind them and me personally I get confidence in him. my name is Colin so I've got a question for the coach and I've got a question for in some ways, you've addressed it, but I just want to get for Kenneth, for instance. Um, you didn't go to the World Cup last time. How devastating was that for you as players and as a, as a leader? And what lessons did you take from that that you want to apply to this colleague? Okay. And then um, for the coach, you know, just you know, to follow up on what you said about having confidence in your goalkeepers. You're playing in a private state, you, which is the home of. Um, one of our greatest goalkeepers ever in Sentinel. He's in town and he handled this sort of pressure before. You know, he was under the same kind of pressure when he started. Have you thought about maybe reaching out to him to speak to Uzohan Mazuka and just, you know, help them manage the expectations and the pressure that comes with um, making this kind of mistake? We do. He has been there before. We do. You do. Okay, you have? About Vincent. No, I'm Vincent. saying Vincent huh? Yama. Have, you, have you thought huh? about reaching Vincent out? Yeah, have former, you thought about reaching out to him? Former to goalkeeper of, in Nigeria, Vincent Yama. You know, yes, but you know, I don't know him. Uh, I don't know him. Uh, no, personally. The personally, yeah, okay. Personally, yeah. you know. But no, I don't personally. know directly. I didn't speak with him. Yeah. But why this question? 
No, I'm just thinking, I mean, for somebody who has experienced this sort of situation before, um, he has been under this kind of pressure, and it might be a good idea to have a senior person to at least reach out to Francis one-on-one, -on -one, speak to him, and mentor him on how to navigate this current situation. Okay, I have my stuff. I believe in my stuff. What is it? It's my stuff. I believe in my stuff. <laughs> yeah, I changed the stuff because uh, the player did a mistake. Yeah, missing out at the at the last uh, World Cup was, you know, it was painful for the whole team. Just like I, I said earlier, you know, and. Um, I know the players uh, know this and they have that at the back of their mind and uh, we've had a discussion as well of how important um, this game is. The coaches, uh, we had, uh, we've had two meetings and they you know, talked about it. It's really important. We're not playing, they are not teams that are pushovers, you know, they are national teams. So we have to approach them with all seriousness and try to start very well because we have to like he said, the the goal is to win the two games, you know, and this is the mentality we have as as, as a team. Uh, the lesson you've taken from that previous okay. Yeah, the lesson is that, you know, missing out in the greatest uh, tournament, you know, and being at home to watch other countries play and not seeing Nigerians, you know, travel to, to watch our team. We know a lot of our friends who have bought tickets to go to the World Cup, but they had to cancel, so this is, um, and we want to play in the, in the World Cup. A lot of players haven't experienced it, and they want to. They want to experience it. All right. Uh, sorry, we just have to take two more questions because we are fast running out of time. One from you and one from you. Please. Sorry about that. Sorry. Um, this question for the coach. Um, we talked about how. Speak louder, please, so that the coach can hear. Uh, to uh, not go to the World Cup. My name is Michael. Yes. And I work for 54 Football League. Nice to meet you. Omer has spoken about how disappointing it was to miss out on the World Cup. And coming into this game, the Super Rebels had had a campaign on less to the game. I'd like to ask you, if there's a split between winning the AFCON and going to the World Cup, are they split? This Which is one would it be? Okay, that was for AFCON, no for World Cup. Uh, you threw another yeah, thing? Okay, I think I, when I arrived here, I told for everybody that. Um, Nigeria was better than Ghana in the boats match, in my opinion. And deserved more than Ghana, but football can happen everything. I can repeat, I think uh, Nigeria was better in Ghana, deserved to beat Ghana there. In the home, I think, get nervous, many people, more pressure, uh, play, I think, didn't receive the goal and uh, receive pressure, he could not beat Ghana. Nigeria must play the next World Cup, of course. If we belong the best national team in the in the Africa, must play the next World Cup. I understand that there's a point that everybody, the players also. Huh? Uh, about the players also, should they they like to play the World Cup, even the, popul the population, even 220 million or 250 million or 27 million, I think they they can they can enjoy because the the count is not easy to live in Africa. Many people, not only in Nigeria but other in other countries, and that uh, that Victoria and the result to Super Eagles, is fantastic for the people. Support today, support the difficulty of the life. Uh, of course, you come here for me and the, the, my staff, for help my players, for win the match, for all, all the people, for the fans, for the media, more for the fans. They need get one more Vitoria. Okay, okay, more one, more one. You support the life and go and fight and go. more on Vitoria. When the team lose, worse. For that, I said, I think uh, I don't know if the in Africa, sure. The team with more pressure or more stress is Nigeria. More people in this in the in the country, more people need the victorious. More people need some satisfaction for the life. I, I understand. I spoke to my players. It's good.
Some players play in that level. He can support the pressure because here more pressure than the others countries in the in the. In the Right, Who stay here for work, for put the team, help the team, go to World Cup. But the main point is the next match is tomorrow, and tomorrow Lesotho is not the team like us, but fight. Only in football you can be better than the other and lose. Only in football, no in the other activity. Only in football you can be better, you can do better, you can score more times. You can like against Guinea, you, sc you shoot 27. Balls against three and lose one nil. This football can happen that. You don't want. For that you ask for my players' focus, determination, demand, and the quality you have, of course. For play tomorrow a series match with the rigor match with the focus, for do a good spectacle and win and take more, three points the first three points for qualification. Okay. Um coach good evening. My name is Ludovica from Zero Media. Um quick No, only Aussie men. Okay, Aussie men, Didi, Samuel Squeezy, Zaidu, and more. Others, no good fit. Um, but only I speak about them because you ask me. Because I think it's better, I think, in my 23, come with more confidence, don't take care about the others. Only I said, okay, recover well for that, I call him uh, all the time. No, only Mozi men, all of them. I call, okay, work well, good job. Uh, recover well, uh, but after that, when start the camping, our team is this team, no other team. If this team go to do a good job and go to beat Lesotho. Is there anything doing camp at the moment? Until now, no. Bruno come for that. I, Bruno come some um, uncomfortable because he left from the match, but uh, today, yesterday, didn't do the, all the, the the practice, but today he can do. Okay, you need to control. I don't know if we play tomorrow yes, or not, but yes, yes, sir. Okay, right, so thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our video ways to post like and all our social media links. I mean, follow us on every platform because we get content for everybody.